Well, this is it, the Georgia Aster, Symphiotricum georgianum. What a beautiful plant. Those deep, dark, purple, petal-like flowers around the outside of this inflorescence, group of flowers, help to distinguish it. I said a group of flowers. It looks like I'm holding one flower in my hand, but in fact, I'm holding many, many flowers in the aster family. Things like daisies, asters, goldenrod. What appears to be one flower is actually a collection of many. It's a composite. So when you play that old childhood game of picking off these petals and saying, she loves me, she loves me not, you're picking off entire flowers. These flowers around the outside of an aster are actually called ray flowers. In the center, we have this collection of smaller five-petaled flowers that are called disc flowers. One of our largest flowering asters and, and one of the latest flowering asters that we have in South Carolina. This one doesn't start flowering until late October, sometimes even early November. Because it flowers so late, it's pollinated mostly by bumblebees, carpenter bees. And every so often we'll see one visiting a flower. And if you come out here early in the morning when it's really cool in the fall, you'll actually see bumblebees looking like they're asleep on the flower. Bumblebees are active at lower temperatures than most of our other bee species, so they're perfect pollinators for things that live at high elevations or flower early in the spring or late in the fall like Georgia Aster. We have some of the largest populations in the world of this plant, and it's probably one of the places where this plant has its, its greatest stronghold. It's considered rare in each state it occurs in, and it's limited to the Piedmont, and today it's even considered what we call a candidate for federal listing. So a symbol of times past and a plant that's not doing very well today, but doing well where we have good management practices like this. It's a beautiful plant and you just wait all year to see these masses in flower here in the Clemson Experimental Forest.